Morgan's commodity performance in 2011, beating out longtime leaders Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley, a company more than tripling its revenues last year. Sharon Epperson is live in Denver with the woman who is shaping, shaking up the commodity sector and in turn bringing J.P. Morgan out on top. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Sue. You know, it's been a volatile week in commodities, and this sector is often extremely volatile. It really underscores the essential need to better educate students about all facets of this sector. And I'm joined now by Blythe Masters, who is the head of global commodities at J.P. Morgan. J.P. Morgan today just made a $5.5 million gift to create this comprehensive center for commodities here at the University of Colorado, Denver. It's the largest gift that the school has ever received. And Blythe, why is J.P. Morgan making such an important investment? investment at this time. Thanks, Sharon. Uh, the answer is that commodities are increasingly uh, at the center of the public eye. Uh, their influence on growth, on economies, on disposable income is something we all individually feel uh, every day. And of course, corporations and governments feel it too. And the challenge is to ensure that we have the right talent in this particular area uh, so that public understanding and policy decisions, uh, as well as the operations of companies, can be successful. So the decision to fund uh, the Commodity Center here at CU Denver was really driven uh, by the belief that we need to increase and expand talent in the commodity markets because commodities play such an important role in economic growth. And J.P. Morgan has been investing heavily in commodities for some time, definitely under your leadership. We've seen, as Sue mentioned, a tripling of your revenues in 2011, topping $2.8 billion. It's tremendous growth. Many see it as part of your vision, your strategy, for the reason that that has happened. Is that really sustainable? Well, we've been investing in the commodities business, and it's important to realize that our commodities business uh, is not about uh, betting on commodity prices. It's about assisting clients in executing, managing their risks, ensuring access to capital so that they can make the kind of large long-term investments that are needed in the long run to expand the supply of commodities and that is an area which we anticipate will continue to grow very very rapidly uh, over the next couple of decades in fact so yes we are uh, very excited about the prospects for growth in this particular area and you're looking at growth not only in agriculture and in metals and in oil but across the board in all facets that's what you're investing in a lot of Concern has been placed, though, about J.P. Morgan's, particularly its positions in the metal space. Mm -hmm. And looking at your positions in silver, we talked earlier about the volatility in the silver market. Can you talk about J.P. Morgan's positions and price volatility, and how are they related? Yeah, that's a great question. And you're right that there's been a tremendous amount of uh, speculation, uh, particularly in the blogosphere, about uh, this topic. And I think the, uh, the challenge is uh, that that speculation represents a misunderstanding as to the nature of our business. As I mentioned earlier, our business is a client-driven uh, business uh, where we execute on behalf of clients to achieve their financial and risk management objectives. Uh, the challenge is that uh, commentators don't see all of that activity simultaneously. Mm -hmm. So just to give you a simple example, uh, we store significant amounts of commodities, for example, silver, yeah. uh, on behalf of customers. We operate vaults in New York City, in Singapore, and in London. Uh, and often when uh, customers have that metal stored in our facilities, they hedge it on a forward basis through JP Morgan, uh, who in turn hedges itself in the commodity markets. If you see only the hedges mm -hmm. and our activity in the futures market, but you aren't aware of the underlying client position that we're hedging, then it would suggest inaccurately that we're running a large directional position. Yes. In fact, that's not the case at all. We have offsetting positions. We have no stake in whether prices rise or decline. Rather, we're running a flat or a relatively natural. So book. it's not it's because what is commonly out there is that J.P. Morgan is manipulating the metals market. And from what you're outlining, that is not possible because of the different sides of the business that you're in part of. That's right. It's not part of our business model. Uh, it would be wrong, and we don't do it. You've had such a long history at J.P. Morgan in the derivatives market, now heading commodities. One of the other things that is really struggling for many traders is trying to figure out what regulation is going to look like and how that's going to impact their business. What is your view and how concerned are you about regulations that are coming down for the OTC derivatives market and for commodities? So again, another great question. Um, I think I want to say first uh, that J.P. Morgan strongly supports 
the need for improved regulation uh, in financial markets and of financial institutions broadly. Um, the key is to ensure that that regulation is good regulation uh, and with this type of topic the devil is almost always uh, in the details. So in the interest of greater transparency, uh, less systemic risk in the system, uh, less connectivity between major players, uh, all of those things, uh, we feel great strides have been made in advancing regulation to promote those objectives. Having said that, we have to be aware of unintended consequences, and there's a real risk of those unintended consequences. For example, uh, if you make it difficult for um, uh, institutions to transact in commodity markets yeah. by excessively uh, exposing their actions uh, to the public domain too quickly, that would drain liquidity and actually make it harder for end users to hedge. So there is a concern about liquidity longer term? Yes. All right. Well, I want to thank you so much for joining us here. Blythe Masters here, joining us at the University of Colorado Denver School of Business and where they've made this tremendous gift. Thank you for your perspective on the commodity sector. Appreciate it.